Hi guys, we're going to be looking at year six maths today. So these are the nine topics that we cover throughout a year. What we're going to look at today in this video is number and place value. Now within number and place value, there are different objectives. So there is read, write, order and compare numbers to 10 million and determine the value of each digit. There's also round any whole number to, the, to a required degree of accuracy. There's use negative numbers in context and calculate intervals across zero. And of course, there's solving number and practical problems that involve all of these statements that we've just talked about. So today we're going to be looking at rounding any whole number to a required degree of accuracy. So can you round it to 10 or 100 or 1000 or 100,000 or a million or whatever you are asked to round it to. So that's what it means by required degree of accuracy. So let's start by looking at rounding to the nearest 10. So you're trying to get to a round number. When you're rounding to the nearest 10, you need to know the multiple of 10 that comes before and after the number so that you can decide which multiple of 10 is closer to your number. So for example, if we're looking at the number 47, 40 comes before and 50 comes after. There are two multiples of 10 before and after 47. So if you look at that on a number line, if you've got 40 on the left and you've got 50 on the right, you'll have 45 in the middle and 47 would go between 45 and 50. So 47 is closer to 50. So we'd say that rounds up to 50. So let's have a look at a bigger example. A bigger. So if we look at 6,481, again, you need to know your multiples of 10 that come before and after the number. So we've got 6,480, we've got 6,490. So let's place that on a number line again. So you've got 6,480, in the middle you've got 6,485, and on the end you've got 6,490. When we look at that on the number line, 6,481 is closer to 6,480, so it would round down to 6,480 as its nearest 10. So is there a pattern? When we rounded to the nearest 10, 47 rounded up to 50. And 6,481 rounded down to 6,480. So if you look at the ones column in both of those numbers, 7 made the number round up and 1 made the number round down. So what does that actually look like? If we look at that on a number line and we start from 0 and we've got to 10, we've got 5 in the middle, 1 to 4 would be closer to 0, they would round down, they're closer to 0 than they are to 10. And the right hand side, so 5 and upwards to 9, they would round to 10, they're closer to 10. So, is there a rule? Well, yes, it looks like there is a rule. When you're rounding to the nearest 10, you need to look at the ones. If the digit is 1, 2, 3, or 4, you round the 10s down. If the digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you round the 10s up. So, if you're rounding to the nearest 100, you need to know the multiple of 100 that comes before your number and you need to know the multiple of 100 that comes after your number and then you can decide which multiple of 100 is closer to your number. So for example, we could have 9,437, 9,400 comes before the number, 9,500 comes after the number. So let's have a look at that on a number line. We've got 9,450 in the middle. Now 9,437 would go before 9,450, so it's closer to 9,400. So 9,437 is closer to 9,400, so it rounds down to 9,400 as the nearest 100. So is there a pattern there? Well, yes, there is. So when we round it to the nearest 100, 9,437 rounded down to 9,400. So if we look at the tens column there, we see that the 3 made the number round down. So when you're rounding to the nearest 100, you look at the tens column. So does it fit with the rule? It does. So you look at the column to the right of the value that you're rounding to. So if the digit that you're looking at there is 1, 2, 3 or 4, you round down. If the digit is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, you round up. So if we apply the rule, when you're rounding a number like 540,864 to the nearest 1,000, you would look at the 100 column and you would round up. So the 100 column is 8 there, so you've got 800 in that value, so that would make your thousands round up. So you would round up to 541,000. If we have a look at another example, so if you're rounding 345,974 to the nearest 100,000, you'd look at the 10,000 column, and that would make you round down because the 10,000 column is a 4, that's below 5, so you would round your 100,000 
down, so you'd stay at 300,000. So here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. So you're rounding 846,048 to the nearest 10,000. The second one you're rounding 1,243,581 to the nearest 1,000. The third one you're rounding 94,246 to the nearest 10,000. The fourth one you're rounding 3,947 to the nearest 100. And the last one you're rounding 143,800 to the nearest 100,000. After you've done those, or if you've got questions, or if you're slightly confused, do get in touch. You can contact us via Facebook on facebook.com forward slash newbie primary, or you can contact us on Twitter at newbie primary, or you can use the email address that was given to you in your home learning pack. Make sure an adult does that for you, please. Have fun. Thank you for watching. Bye.